Be on the concussion protocol. <laughs> so what's wrong with your eyes? What are you talking about? Ball hit my nose. Blood's, blood splattered. Coach, opening remarks, any questions? Uh, just commend Gino. Um, they go, they're going through a little rough stretch there, but uh, there is no uh, better coach or better guy in the league uh, than Gino. He, he's a he's a good man, and uh, he's a good coach. And sometimes. Uh, Young guys make bad decisions, and, and our bigger job as coaches is to is to teach them life lessons and help them become better young men. And I know he's doing that there. Uh, I knew they'd be coming in ready. Uh, I knew he'd uh, try some different things. He had a couple days to to work without those guys and and uh, come up with some different things that we hadn't seen. We had no idea really what to prepare for, so we probably did too much of, of talking about different things and, and confused our guys, and that got us a little passive. Uh, but those guys played loose. They played free. They played hard. They played smart, um, and did a great job. I, I felt a little bit like during the game that it, it was our, us before Christmas. You know, it just a lot of different things, at both ends of the floor, just not good enough. And I think uh, we've tried to rest guys in practice. We haven't practiced as much, so we. I, I think it's a natural tendency to have some slippage. Um, but those are just excuses. I thought it was more everything that Bradley did. Um, uh, against us and what we did, and 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 then you still you're at seven and three. You know you still win the basketball game, uh, not playing at your best, and uh, we'll learn from it and, and continue to get better. Questions, Greg? Did you get the sense out of the players at halftime that they felt chastened enough to kind of come out in the second half and maybe prove that the first half was an aberration a little bit? What's chastened me? Embarrassed. Embarrassed. It's a, bit, it's a stronger word. Uh, I, I I never use embarrassed. You know and. Maybe maybe that's maybe that's them, but you're playing good competition. You're playing a good basketball team. I don't think you're you're ever embarrassed. You're disappointed in how you play. They were certainly disappointed, and I was uh, ticked off uh, at halftime. Um, we didn't start well. We did a lot of dumb things uncharacteristically, uh, and I think our upperclassmen kind of got us going with that. Um, our bench, I think our bench helped us in both halves. You know, they sparked us in both halves. Uh, but yeah, they knew they weren't playing as well as they needed to in the first half, and. I uh, chose to change things, and uh, it wasn't pretty, but, but we'll take it. You said you really didn't know how to prepare for them. What sorts of things did you try and practice to emulate what they well, do? Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we th Lou, had, Lou had the scouts, so we were ready before any of that stuff happened. We thought they'd probably press us hard man-to-man, -man, hedging ball screens and stuff, stuff that's been a little bit effective uh, that, that Geno's had them do in the past. Um, they've been tough to play for against uh, for us. And then losing those guys, you're thinking, well, uh, we were thinking maybe they'd play smaller, and he did go smaller. I thought he was probably going to try to go bigger uh, tonight. Uh, that was a great adjustment on his part with those with those two guards in there. Uh, but we thought they'd zone, so we talked a lot about zone stuff. We still had to do man, you know, talking about man to man, and then thinking about uh, you know getting guys ready to guard some of the guys that hadn't had the minutes when you don't know their tendencies as well as as uh, some of those other guys. But uh, the, I thought they guarded man to man and zone both well today. I thought they get, did a good job with both of their defense and. Had a little, had us a little bit uh, on our heels. The Bradley went without a field goal from about the 7:40 mark to to late in the game when they got a layup. Uh, you know, defensively at times it wasn't the strongest, but I, guess yeah. I suppose the the positive about it is, is you did get stops when you needed it. We we talk a lot about getting three stops in a row and doing those things, and I don't at Evansville I don't think we even got two stops in a row. Uh, that's how bad we were there defensively, and today it just wasn't consistent with it. Now they hit some shots. They hit some shots late in the possessions uh, several times, and obviously we found them sometimes and put them at the line. But uh, I thought we locked in and finished possessions a little bit. Brenton come through with some some big steals there to to stretch the game out a little bit. But uh, finishing those possessions when you have to guard for 30 seconds and then you know there there's somebody's trying to make a play. That's when you have to finish. You have to be your strongest at the end of the possessions and finish with the rebound. We did a better job of that today. Coach, in terms of offense, obviously a lot of the mistakes in the first half, but in terms of game plan and execution, what was the biggest difference in the second half for you guys, especially early on? Well, I thought they, they had us on our heels. I thought they dictated, had more of the pace of the game that they wanted than us. Uh, against a zone, I mean, Dad sitting here, I don't think you have to do anything against a zone except for get it into gaps, make two guys guard you, move it quickly, and you're going to get a shot. Uh, we settled for too many threes uh, again. Uh, if we do that, the ball needs to touch the paint before you throw it out there. But we held it a little. I thought Devontae and Trey particularly held it too much, dribbled it a little too much instead of popping it around. But uh, um, 
it, it, we got a little better. We moved a little quicker for the most part in the second half, and we t got paint touches. In terms of physicality, um, you know, Kitch and, and TJ both score a whole lot today, but they had their work cut out for them on the inside today, and especially the early job rebounding, I thought. They, they were going against good athletes today, some length in there today. I thought Kitch really saved us some possessions there. He had four, I think TJ had two offensive rebounds. Uh, did some good, good, did some good things. Obviously, we need Kitch to uh, catch it, finish, and get baskets better. TJ is a little more creative around there, uh, but that's what I'm talking about. That's where these guards have to. The guards are going to get shots, you know, because Kitch and Justin, TJ, those guys are unselfish. We'd like to get them a touch first before it goes back out, and they're not getting many touches in there with opportunities to make plays. Greg, what's your level of concern right now about Christian's offense um, and, and his shooting? He, he's still slumping and. Uh, What's your level of concern about it? I don't have any concern at all. Really don't. Uh, he, he probably does a little bit. He feels like he's got the weight of the world on. He wants to help his team so bad. But he finally did what we've been preaching to him about. If you're, uh, things are tough and you're not getting any baskets, you're not making shots, get yourself to the free throw line. Get yourself to the free throw line. He sees two go in, and then he makes a couple buckets after that. So I'm uh, more worried about his finger right now than anything else. But uh, Christian's a good player and a good offensive player. He's getting their best defender all the time. Uh, now and there's a bunch of good defenders in this league so hey, he's trying hard um, and uh, he's an unselfish guy so he doesn't go out of his way you don't ever see him taking bad shots we could we could live with him uh, trying to create a little for him he's going to be fine there's no question and when he's going to be when he's getting better and when he's good we're going to be tough on the offense did, did he jam his finger i saw him come out of uh, i'm not sure what it was i know the docs were looking at it yeah you know, because he came out he's going to go file. get an x-ray so. you had a one team foul you picked up your first I second half about team foul at the 43 second mark. I mean, and and you know, even though it's kind of a light thing to kind of laugh about now. I mean, you had been having trouble defending without fouling. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but they were. That's the way they were playing today. That's the way they had to play to give themselves a chance. They were being real patient, moving the ball, making us have to guard uh, throughout the possession, and they shot a lot of jump shots today. And we weren't we weren't supposed to be helping into the post. We wanted our guys to go one-on-one -on -one out there, but, but Trey did a couple times and gave them some threes there. But uh, we kept, I thought we did a good job of keeping our hands free. And again, them just kind of running um, motion uh, for 25, 28 seconds, every possession, you know, it's the, the pace of it slowed. It's, a, it's the second time in two weeks that you have a Saturday to Tuesday turnaround. How do you handle this one as opposed to well, last week? Hopefully better than how we played down there. Today. I thought we played good offensively, but we didn't have any bite in our defense at all. If, and if we don't want to guard Tuesday, we've got zero prayer to, to beat those guys. Uh, our guys will step up. They know how good a team is that's coming in here. We have tons of respect for them. We'll have to, we could play very well and still get beat by these guys, but we'll have to be at our absolute best. Uh, we'll watch them today here in a little bit uh, against Wichita. And we'll be better Tuesday. Uh, Look for a good, hopefully have a really good crowd in here because that, hopefully that's going to be a great game. Anything else?